Hello viewers and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Paul Narotza. If it's your first time you're visiting my YouTube channel, please remember to subscribe and click the bell icon to enable notifications. So guys, in this video today, we'll be talking about the storage devices of the computer. So in my other video, I showed you on how to disassemble the computer and see the components inside the system unit. We talked of the input devices, the processing devices, the storage devices and the output devices. So guys, in this video today, we'll be talking about the storage devices of the computer. And we have um, some various things to talk of about the computer hardware parts. So the first thing you have to know about the computer hardware parts, you have the requirements of the, while well, accessing the hardware parts of the computer, have the compatibility, you have the talk of the user needs, again talk of the storage capacity when talking of the storage devices. So in this case, let's go straight away to the topic of today. We are handling the computer storage. So as you can see, I'm having my motherboard here. So the storage devices are connected to the motherboard and then for easy viewing of the information. So when talking of the hard disk drives and the floppy drives and other drives, they must be linked to the motherboard for communication. So let's just start the here the type of the storage devices. We have the magnetic devices. So the magnetic storage devices have the optical storage devices and other different categories of the storage devices. So we are starting the hard disk drive. As you can see, this is my hard disk drive over here. This is my hard disk drive is of 320 gigabytes. So talking of the hard disk drive, it now depends the user requirements and the size of the information that the user wants to store. So if you want to store the information about this simple and small size of information, so you just need a hard disk capacity which will accommodate the information. So we have different capacities of the hard disk. So we have the 88 gigabyte hard disk, we have one 60 gigabyte hard disk, you have 120 gigabyte hard disk, you have again 24 gigabytes size of hard disk, you have 1000 gigabytes, that is 1 terabyte, you have 2 terabytes, again you have more and more capacity of the hard disk. So this uh, hard drive is connected to the motherboard using the SATA cable, as you can see here. I'm having my SATA cable. So this SATA holds, helps in transforming the transformation of data from the hard disk to the point here. This is now the SATA. So that's now the connection, the hard disk to the motherboard. That's the data cable. So again, you're talking of the second other item we have the storage device is a floppy drive. I have a floppy drive. This floppy drive is just a 1.44 megabyte. This is a very small size of, uh, of storage. This just can accommodate, I don't know, if just one size of photo. Again, talking of floppy drive, we have a uh, these are floppy disks, sorry, floppy disk. Then you have the floppy drive where the disk should be stored. So you just have to do the insertion point inside the floppy disk to this drive. So again, that's the, about the floppy. So nowadays you don't use floppy disk because the floppy disk of the smaller size, again, the Difficulties with the access information, the floppy disk must access the information sequentially one by one. You can't skip the next item. So again, the floppy drive is connected to the to your motherboard. The, you can use the SATA cable or depending the type of the drive. So in my case, this drive here is an IDE. So you 
you have the ID cable you can connect from that point to this point over here so the third type of uh, storage we have the we are talking about the DVD drive this is now the DVD drive we have the DVD drive we have the CD drive so as you can see there's these are internal DVD drive of a uh, computer so some other computer have uh, smaller size drives this is now a larger size drive so these are just a drive that you insert the DVD inside it so this is now the we're talking about the storage of information this now holds the information as you can see you have the tiers of different capacity so these are DVD these are read only type you have the the writable we have the DVD you have CD ROM so these are DVD you have another type called CD which is of a small size so when handling the CD you have to be careful because this is an optic optic yeah optical type of storage so you have the binaries the zeros and ones so they you carefully handle the disk so the precaution is don't expose it to smoke to dust or fall it down because it will it may get corrupt so we are again talking of the have a flash drive this is a flash drive so guys as you can see this is just a flash drive is a holding 8 gigabytes of data these are 8 GB type of flash drive so you can have again another flash drive of 16 GB 32 GB 64 GB and more than that so guys this now we prefer flash disk compared to the DVDs because flash drives are portable and can store information for longer time and can't easily be corrupted. So guys, these are just some some of the storage devices we've been talking about. So again, we have the we have memory memory card switch against so information. So this are just all about the offline devices to store information. We have the safe place for storing our information and that's the, we have the drive. We have Google Drive to store the information. That's the safe, most safe place to store information. We have Google Drive, we have uh, Dropbox, depending on which makes you better, the storing of information. That's the most good backup, which is called the cloud storage. So guys, Talking of the cloud storage, I have another video which I made talking of the Google Drive and I'll leave the link down in the description so you can view another that video because it's just related to the storage devices. So if you have any questions, just comment down below in the comment section. Remember to subscribe and click the bell icon to enable notifications. Thanks for watching.